What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now today we're going to be taking a step into the world of AI. There's some news that we just got recently about three different companies and something big that's happening there. I thought it was interesting. It is kind of affecting and impacting my investment decisions. So I did want to talk about it here today with you. Of course, you guys know that my primary focus of this YouTube channel is to just reflect the things that I am doing personally in my own portfolio. That's why it's called Tyler Hill Investing. So the things that I'm seeing, doing, interested in, etc. I'm going to talk to you about here. And so with that said, let's not waste any more time at all and let's get straight into it now the news that we got was actually from about a week and a half ago that singularity dow plans to merge with cogito finance self key to form ai focused layer two now you guys know that ai is still pending becoming a very very massive part of this ecosystem like obviously ai is big and it's it's gotten like a it's become like a staple of the world don't get me wrong but ai is quite frankly nowhere near as big as it's going to be it is going to be substantially bigger not just in web3 but in the world in general and i do believe that is also going to translate into the world of web 3 i think in crypto we are going to see ai consistently becoming a bigger and bigger and bigger part of it till it is somewhat integrated into all aspects of web 3 and so because of that clearly it's important to pay a pay attention to now it's doing well already right we can see a 27 billion dollar market crap uh, market crap that's funny market cap across so many of the different ones obviously we have near protocols the biggest one at 5.1 billion we got bit tensor internet computer artist artificial super intelligence alliance render the graph etc we got tars one that we've talked about a few times here on the channel but at the end of the day again 27 billion ain't nothing i think we're going to see this this sector alone end up a trillion dollar sector in crypto i do think that but we're still in the early stages maybe that'll be two or three cycles from now but anywho so of course we did get some major news about this and so i wanted to talk today about this news what it means who this is and why i think that it's important so what we can see here let's just go down singularity dow which we've talked about here on the channel it's someone we partnered with a long time ago that is very big in the world of crypto plans to merge with cogito finance and self key to form a combined project focused on tokenizing the artificial intelligence economy now what they're planning on doing is in order to do this is by creating an evm compatible layer 2 blockchain which brings the ai economy on chain it offers a compliant rwa tokenization framework to tokenize ai compute and monetize ai agents so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of a look at how they're going to do this what some of their plans are and much more so as i mentioned before the major focus here is that they are going to be creating a layer 2 blockchain now do you remember a layer 2 and a layer 1 are very different layer 2s are typically built on top of layer 1 so this is going to this this means that they're going to be able to accomplish this quicker you know although yes layer 2s can be complex i do personally prefer like when people just say you know what there's a couple layer ones out there that are fantastic. They're phenomenal. They work very well. We don't need to start trying to reinvent the wheel. We can just build on top of it. And so they're going to come out with their own one that specializes, of course, in the world of AI. They say this specialized EVM layer two platform is optimized for monetization of AI, addressing challenges like liquidity and accessibility by tokenizing core parts of the AI value chain. From hardware to applications, it enables new asset classes such as tokenized AI compute integrated seamlessly with the DeFi ecosystem. Now, some of the ways Ways in which they're going to do this and the way in which they're going to try to accomplish this is by trying to again capitalize on the entire ai ai market opportunity because it goes a lot deeper than you realize there are multiple different areas and you know aspects of ai that need to be brought into web 3. now without diving into each one specifically we can see here that they're planning on getting into the hardware layer which obviously is the backbone of ai this is real stuff in real life real products there's platforms there are foundation models and knowledge graphs there are model hubs there are applications there are ai based services and of course data in general so what their game plan is to do is to tokenize all of these different things and bring all of them on chain now some of the ways in which they're going to pull this off okay they're going to have an AI centric app, and I'm very excited about this. They say that the singularity finance dApps are built with a keen focus on enabling the onboarding of the next wave of the AI economy, tackling the core challenges faced by existing Web3. Singularity finance will provide key solutions to resolve challenges such as complex onboarding, fragmented liquidity, d difficulty in fiat on and off ramp, and enable deep integration of decentralized finance applications within the AI ecosystem. They go on to say that the platform will offer a seamless and intuitive interface to manage and trade various positions, integrated with on chain account abstraction the layer 2 network will abstract away the complexity of key management moreover users will be able to track and manage their positions in real time across protocols supported by ai driven insights or recommendations so not only are they going to be able to trade maybe rwa or maybe they're going to be able to trade some of their own different ai based assets and tokenized ai assets but also on top of that they're going to be able to use the help and have the help of ai to do their normal trading or off reps on ramps etc now on top of that speaking of the tokenization framework they plan on to literally trying to tokenize every single aspect of it now one interesting thing is like 
in the process of them doing this, okay, what I always think about is, look, if we're going to be tokenizing things of this nature, right, whether it's, you know, funds and different data and all of these different things, compute, whatever it may be, I always question and I always wonder how in the world are people going to make sure this stays safe? Because the moment you tokenize something, the moment that it becomes much more risky than it was before, in my opinion. And one interesting thing that they're doing is that they're going to actually setting up a bunch of different safeguards that we're actually going to talk about here and for identity solutions. Some of them include, of course, full compliance. The segregation portfolio company is registered as a mutual fund regulated by the Cayman Islands Monetary Authority and fully compliant with all relevant regulations. There's off-chain custody and there are reputable and independent service providers that they're going to bring on board. Now, when we go to identity solutions, they're also going to be taking advantage of some much more in-depth um, safety precautions, if you want to call it, which could be wallet screening, KYB, and KYC as well. Now, I think all of these things are important, especially as they're going to introduce an app, introduce a framework, introducing identity identity solutions to make sure that the people who are operating and the people who want to operate are who they say they are. I think it's going to be extremely important. And going forward, there's also going to be some auxiliary features, which is going to be, you know, an AI driven market making predictions market and on and off ramps, which are just going to help people out in general, right? These aren't per se essential, but they are useful. And these are things that are going to bring people to the platform, bring people into the ecosystem, and then hopefully keep them there as they do start to get introduced to some of these other things. Now, going forward at the middle of this, right at the middle of the DAP and the L2 and everything, they're going to have a token, the SFI token. Now, the tokens utility is going to serve as, of course, network security. Okay, so just for the integrity of the network, as a gas token for governance, for tokenization fees, in which organizations interested in tokenizing their assets on Singularity Finance Platform would be required to pay a launch fee paid in SFI tokens. So if you want to operate on the platform, you have to buy some tokens or pay in tokens at least. And then transaction fees. Singularity Finance would also deploy a number of protocols and dApps on the Singularity Finance L2, such as vaults, DEX, and other services. A portion of the fee charged by these services and dApps would be distributed back to SFI token holders, basically as if you are a, um, a shareholder in the, in the blockchain itself. And so you'll get paid out dividends as people do use their um, ecosystem. And then the last one, of course, protocol fee distribution. A Portion of the fees generated by tokenized assets, vaults, and other deployed protocols will be just redistributed back to SFI stakers as rewards. So people who do invest and hold the token and stake the token will be able to not only capitalize on this as the ecosystem does grow, but also by being rewarded back tokens and being um, kind of paid out as dividends for, again, the growth and the transactions and all of the things that do happen on chain. Now, going forward, of course, what we can see here is that they're moving into quarter four and quarter one right now. And they have a lot of plans, right? The SFI token launch, the migration portal launch, um, the Singularity Finance Incentivized Testnet Live, featuring tokenized assets and other partnered applications. So this is going to be just to show, like, look, we're actually building this. It will actually work. And here's what it's going to look like. And then lastly, they will preview DynaVaults with yield-bearing stables and artificial superintelligence alliance index vaults, which we did see uh, over here. So it's a great partnership there. It's a $3 billion company. And so because of that, they do have a lot of things on the way. And I do believe that this is going to be great, especially, you know, as they are going to be doing a token merge. Of course, we know that there's key CGV and SDAO, which all are going to be merging together to create one. And if you do want more information about the merge itself, how it's going to work, and of course the conversion methodology, it is going to be all available over on their light paper if you want to go check that out. But overall, I mean, again, I think this is great news. You guys know we partnered up with Singularity Dow, and so seeing them continuously making these moves and improvements, I think is going to be great because the AI market is a growing market, and this type of thing is going to do well in a growing market in general. And so I wanted to share it with you down below. Do you find this interesting? Are you looking for to what they have coming up and are you in the world of ai let me know all those answers down in the comments down below and of course i can't wait to see you all in the next update peace out everybody